boys and girls. I hope you've had a lovely Easter holiday with your family. I have been really busy making you a little story with my voice reading this. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess who it is reading the story. Take a look at the picture and look at all the different things that's in it. Can you guess what the storybook is? Hmm, that's right. It's Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack. He lived with his poor mother. They had almost had sold everything that they owned and they had no money to buy food. When the last cow stopped giving milk, Jack's mum sent him to the town to sell it. On the way to the town, Jack met a strange man and told him stories, which included magic beans. Jack asked him, now where can I buy these magic beans from my mother? I have the last five magic beans and I will sell them to you as you're a very good boy. The strange man smiled at Jack. Well, I have nothing but our old cow, but we need the money. I could sell her to be able to buy some food. The man replied, Trust me, my boy. These beans will bring you food and fortune. Your mother will be proud. Jack hesitated, but finally traded the old cow for the beans. When Jack returned home, his mother was furious and threw the beans out the kitchen. Window crying. <laughs> Jack went to bed that night, sad and hungry. He woke up the next morning to find a huge beanstalk grown in the garden. Wow! The beans really are magic, he cried. Jack saw the stalk reach the clouds. He remembered stories about the clouds containing gold and started climbing the stalk to see what he could find. He climbed and climbed. When he got to the top, he saw a huge castle and he headed for it. The door was so big that Jack crawled beneath it. Once he got inside, he saw a giant man eating his dinner. When the giant was finished, he called his servant to bring his bag of gold coins. While counting the gold coins, he got very drowsy and fell asleep. Jack crept up to the giant and stole his bag of gold. He struggled down the beanstalk with his money. When he got down to the bottom, he called for his mother. Jack's mum was so happy because it was the same money that the giant had stole from Jack's father many years ago. His mother was worried and made Jack promise he would never go back to the castle. While Jack did promise, after a little while, the money began to run out. Jack began to wonder if he would find anything else in the castle. Jack decided he would climb back up the beanstalk and back to the castle. He managed to get back up and climbed under the door and he found the giant eating his dinner at the table again. Once he had finished, this time he called for his hen. Jack was amazed when he saw the hen lay an egg of pure gold. While the giant was watching the hen, he again began to feel drowsy and fell asleep. Jack crept sideways onto the table and grabbed the hen. When he returned, his mum was very angry that he'd gone back to the castle. She held Jack's axe and wanted to chop the beanstalk back down. Jack begged her not to and showed her how the hen could lay golden eggs. Jack's mother put the axe down and watched the hen as it laid its golden eggs, one after another. After a while, Jack's curiosity got the better of him and thought what else could he find in the castle. Once again, he climbed back up to the beanstalk and sneaked under the door to find the giant eating his dinner at the table again. Again! Once he finished, he called for his magic heart. 
Jack watched the harp play beautiful music all by itself. Once again the giant fell asleep, Jack crept silently to the table. As soon as Jack picked up the harp, it began to play beautiful music again. The giant woke up. Oh, fee, five, four, thumb, the giant yelled and chased Jack holding the harp. Jack slid back down the beanstalk. He could feel it shake as the giant began to climb down. Luckily, his axe was still at the bottom of the beanstalk and he began to chop, chop, chop. The beanstalk began to shake and it cracked. The giant fell to the earth and never to be seen again. Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. The end.